The Raytheon Company is a major U.S. defense contractor and industrial corporation with core manufacturing concentrations in weapons and military and commercial electronics. It was previously involved in corporate and special mission aircraft until early 2007. Raytheon is the world's largest producer of guided missiles. On June 9, 2019, Raytheon announced a merger of equals with the aerospace companies of United Technologies, established in 1922. The company reincorporated in 1928 and adopted its present name in 1959. As of 2018, the company had around 67,000 employees worldwide and annual revenues of approximately 25.35 billion United States dollars. More than 90% of Raytheon's revenues were obtained from military contracts and, as of 2012, it was the fifth largest military contractor in the world. As of 2015, it is the third largest defense contractor in the United States by defense revenue. In 2003, Raytheon's headquarters moved from Lexington, Massachusetts, to Waltham, Massachusetts. The company had previously been headquartered in Cambridge, Massachusetts, from 1922 to 1928, Newton, Massachusetts, from 1928 to 1941, Waltham from 1941 to 1961 and Lexington from 1961 to 2003. History Topic: Early years. In 1922, two former Tufts University School of Engineering roommates, Lawrence K. Marshall and Van Var Bush, along with scientist Charles G. Smith, founded the American Appliance Company in Cambridge, Massachusetts. Its focus, which was originally on new refrigeration technology, soon shifted to electronics. The company's first product was a gaseous helium rectifier that was based on Charles Smith's earlier astronomical research of the star Zeta Puppis. The electron tube was christened with the name Raytheon, light of, from the gods, and was used in a battery eliminator, a type of radio receiver power supply that plugged into the power grid in place of large batteries. This made it possible to convert household alternating current to direct current for radios and thus eliminate the need for expensive, short-lived batteries. In 1925, the company changed its name to Raytheon Manufacturing Company and began marketing its rectifier, under the Raytheon brand name, with commercial success. In 1928 Raytheon merged with QRS. Company, an American manufacturer of electron tubes and switches, to form the successor of the same name, Raytheon Manufacturing Company. By the 1930s, it had already grown to become one of the world's largest vacuum tube manufacturing companies. In 1933 it diversified by acquiring Acme Delta Company, a producer of transformers, power equipment, and electronic auto parts. During World War II Early in World War II, physicists in the United Kingdom invented the magnetron, a specialized microwave-generating electron tube that markedly improved the capability of radar to detect enemy aircraft. American companies were then sought by the U.S. government to perfect and mass produce the magnetron for ground based, airborne, and shipborne radar systems, and, with support from the Massachusetts Institute of Technology's Radiation Laboratory, recently formed to investigate microwave radar, Raytheon received a contract to build the devices. Within a few months of being awarded the contract, Raytheon had already begun to mass manufacture magnetron tubes for use in radar sets and then complete radar systems. At war's end in 1945 the company was responsible for about 80% of all magnetrons manufactured. During the war Raytheon also pioneered the production of shipboard radar systems, particularly for submarine detection. Raytheon ranked 71st among United States corporations in the value of World War II military production contracts. Raytheon's research on the magnetron tube revealed the potential of microwaves to cook food. 
In 1945, Raytheon's Percy Spencer invented the microwave oven by discovering that the magnetron could rapidly heat food. In 1947, the company demonstrated the Radarange microwave oven for commercial use. <laughs> After World War II In 1945, the company expanded its electronics capability through acquisitions that included the Submarine Signal Company founded in 1901, a leading manufacturer of maritime safety equipment. With its broadened capabilities, Raytheon developed the first guidance system for a missile that could intercept a flying target. In 1948, Raytheon began to manufacture guided missiles. In 1950, its Lark missile became the first such weapon to destroy a target aircraft in flight. Raytheon then received military contracts to develop the air-to-air -air Sparrow and ground-to-air Hawk missiles, projects that received impetus from the Korean War. In later decades, it remained a major producer of missiles, such as the Patriot anti-missile missile and the air-to-air -air Phoenix missile. Raytheon made a foray into computers, producing the RAYDAC computer for the U.S. Navy which became operational in 1953. Unfortunately, the machine was technically obsolete by the time it was operational. Also in 1953 the company began work on a follow-on, the Raycom, which was never completed. In 1954 it entered into a joint venture with Honeywell to form the Datamatic Corporation. However it sold its interest to Honeywell a year later, before introduction of the Datamatic 1000 system. In 1959, Raytheon acquired the marine electronics company Apelco Applied Electronics, which significantly increased its strength in commercial marine navigation and radio gear, as well as less expensive Japanese suppliers of products such as marine, weather band radios and direction finding gear. In the same year, it changed its name to Raytheon Company. During the post-war years, Raytheon also made generally low to medium-powered radio and television transmitters and related equipment for the commercial market, but the high-powered market was solidly in the hands of larger, better financed competitors such as Continental Electronics, General Electric and Radio Corporation of America. In the 1950s, Raytheon began manufacturing transistors, including the CK722, priced and marketed to hobbyists. In 1961, the British electronics company AC Cossa merged with Raytheon, following its sale by Philips. The new company's name was Raytheon Cossa. The Cossa side of the organization is still current in the Raytheon Group as of 2010. In 1965, it acquired Amana Refrigeration, Inc., a manufacturer of refrigerators and air conditioners. Using the Amana brand name and its distribution channels, Raytheon began selling the first countertop household microwave oven in 1967 and became a dominant manufacturer in the microwave oven business. In 1966, the company entered the educational publishing business with the acquisition of D.C. Heath & Company, marketing an influential physics textbook developed by the Physical Science Study Committee. Raytheon also manufactured the Apollo Guidance Computer, which was introduced that year and flew aboard all NASA Project Apollo missions. Nineteen-eighties. In 1980, Raytheon acquired Beach Aircraft Corporation, a leading manufacturer of general aviation aircraft founded in 1932 by Walter H. Beach. In 1993 the company expanded its aircraft activities by adding the Hawker line of business jets by acquiring Corporate Jets Inc., the business jet product line of British Aerospace now Bay Systems. These two entities were merged in 1994 to become the Raytheon Aircraft Company. In the first quarter of 2007 Raytheon sold its aircraft operations, which subsequently operated as Hawker Beechcraft, and since 2014 have been units of Textron Aviation. 
The product line of Raytheon's aircraft subsidiary included business jets such as the Hawker 800XP and Hawker 4000, the Beechjet 400A, and the Premier I, the popular King Air series of twin turboprops, and piston engine aircraft such as the Bonanza. Its special mission aircraft included the single turboprop T-6A Texan II, which the United States Air Force and United States Navy had chosen as their primary training aircraft. 1990s In 1991, during the Persian Gulf War, Raytheon's Patriot missile received great international exposure, resulting in a substantial increase in sales for the company outside the United States. In an effort to establish leadership in the defense electronics business, Raytheon purchased in quick succession Dallas-based E-Systems Chrysler Corporation's defense electronics and aircraft modification businesses, which had previously acquired companies such as Electrospace Systems portions of these businesses were later sold to L3 Communications, and the defense unit of Texas Instruments, Defense Systems and Electronics Group also in 1997, Raytheon acquired the aerospace and defense business of Hughes Aircraft Company from Hughes Electronics Corporation, a subsidiary of General Motors, which included a number of product lines previously purchased by Hughes Electronics, including the former General Dynamics missile business Pomona Facility, the defense portion of Delco Electronics, Delco Systems Operations, and Magnavox Electronic Systems. Raytheon also divested itself of several non defense businesses in the 1990s, including Amana Refrigeration and Seismograph Service Limited, sold to Schlumberger Gecko Prackler. On October 12, 1999, Raytheon exited the Personal Rapid Transit PRT business as it terminated its PRT 2000 system due to the high cost of development and the lack of interest. Topic 2000s. In November 2007, Raytheon purchased Sarcos for an undisclosed sum, seeking to expand into robotics research and production. In September 2009, Raytheon entered into an agreement to acquire BBN Technologies. The acquisition was completed on October 29, 2009. 2010s In December 2010, Applied Signal Technology agreed to be acquired by Raytheon for $490 million. In October 2014, Raytheon beat rivals Lockheed Martin and Northrop Grumman for a contract to build 3D ELRR, a next generation long range radar system, for the U.S. Air Force worth an estimated $1 billion. The contract award was immediately protested by Raytheon's competitors, Lockheed Martin and Northrop Grumman. After re-evaluating the bids following the protests, the U.S. Air Force decided to delay awarding the 3D ELRR EMD contract until 2017 and was to issue an amended solicitation at the end of July 2016. In 2017, the Air Force again awarded the contract to Raytheon. In May 2015, Raytheon acquired cybersecurity firm WebSense, Inc. from Vista Equity Partners for $1.9 billion and combined it with RCP, formerly part of its IIS segment, to form Raytheon, WebSense. In October 2015, Raytheon, WebSense acquired Foreground Security, a provider of security operations centers, managed security service solutions and cybersecurity professional services, for $62 million. In January 2016, Raytheon, WebSense acquired the firewall provider Stonesoft from Intel Security for an undisclosed amount and renamed itself to Forcepoint. In July 2016, Poland's Defense Minister Antony Macierowicz planned to sign a letter of intent with Raytheon for a $5.6 billion deal to upgrade its Patriot missile defense shield. In 2017, Saudi Arabia signed business deals worth billions of dollars with multiple American companies, including Raytheon. Raytheon. In June 2019, Raytheon announced the intention to merge with United Technologies to form the Raytheon Technologies Corporation. The combined company, valued at more than $100 billion after planned spin offs, would be the world's second largest aerospace and defense company by sales behind Boeing. 
Although UTC will be the nominal survivor, the merged company will be headquartered in Waltham rather than UTC's base in Farmington, Connecticut. In July 2019, Qatar's Ministry of Defense committed to acquire Raytheon's NASAM and Patriot missile defense systems. Topic: <laughs> Finances. <laughs> <laughs> For the fiscal year 2017, Raytheon reported earnings of US$2.024 billion, with an annual revenue of US$25.348 billion, an increase of 5.1% over the previous fiscal cycle. Raytheon's shares traded at over $164 per share, and its market capitalization was valued at over US$51.7 billion in November 2018. Topic: Company structure. Topic: Businesses. Raytheon is composed of five major business divisions: Integrated Defense Systems, based in Tewkesbury, Massachusetts, Ralph Acaba, President. Intelligence, Information and Services. Based in Dulles, Virginia, Dave Wajgras, President Missile Systems — based in Tucson, Arizona, Wesley Kramer, President Space and Airborne Systems — based in McKinney, Texas, Roy Azevedo, President Forcepoint Based Austin, Texas, CEO, Matt Monahan. Raytheon's businesses are supported by several dedicated international operations, including Raytheon Australia, Raytheon Canada Limited, operations in Japan, Raytheon Microelectronics in Spain, Raytheon UK, formerly Raytheon Systems Limited, and Thales Raytheon Systems, France. Topic: <laughs> Strategic business areas. In recent years, Raytheon has expanded into other fields while redefining some of its core business activities. Raytheon has identified five key strategic business areas where it is focusing its expertise and resources Homeland security Missile defense Precision engagement Intelligence, surveillance, reconnaissance Process improvement Raytheon Lean 6 Topic Leadership In March 2014 Thomas Kennedy was named CEO of Raytheon Company Kennedy succeeded William H Swanson who was CEO since 2003 Swanson remained as chairman through September 2014 when Kennedy became chairman as well as CEO. Other current and former members of the board of directors of Raytheon were, Vernon Clark, James E. Cartwright, John Deutsch, Stephen J. Hadley, George R. Oliver, Frederick Posers, Michael Ruetgers, Ronald Skates, William Spivey, and Linda Stuntz. International In addition to its U.S. domestic facilities, Raytheon has offices in countries worldwide, including Australia, Belgium, Brazil, Canada, Chile, China, Czech Republic, Egypt, France, Germany, Greece, India, Israel, Italy, Japan, Kuwait, Malaysia, Marshall Islands, New Zealand, Norway, Republic of Korea, Singapore, Saudi Arabia, Spain, Sweden, Taiwan, Thailand, Turkey, United Arab Emirates, and the United Kingdom. Topic ownership As of December 2014, according to filed reports, the top ten institutional shareholders of Raytheon are Wellington Management Company, Vanguard Group, State Street Corporation, Barrow, Hanley, Mewini and Strauss, BlackRock Institutional Trust Company, BlackRock Advisors, Bank of America, Bank of New York Mellon, Deutsche Bank and Macquarie Group. Topic: Products and services.
Topic Overview Raytheon provides electronics, mission systems integration and other capabilities in the areas of sensing, effects, and command, control, communications and intelligence systems, as well as a broad range of mission support services. View an alphabetical listing of Raytheon's major products and services. See Raytheon products for products manufactured and sold by Raytheon Company. Raytheon's electronics and defense systems units produce air, sea, and land-launched missiles, aircraft radar systems, weapons sites and targeting systems, communication and battle management systems, and satellite components. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Air traffic control systems. First Plus Air Traffic Control Simulator. Autotrack 3 ATM system STARS Topic Radars and Sensors Raytheon is a developer and manufacturer of radars including AESAs, electro-optical sensors and other advanced electronics systems for airborne, naval and ground-based military applications. Examples include APG-63, APG-70 radars for the F-15 Eagle APG-65, APG-73, APG-79 radars for the F-A-18 Hornet APG-77 radar for the F-22 Raptor joint development with Northrop Grumman APG-84 RACR radar AL-50 towed decoy ALR 67 V3 and ALR 69A radar warning receivers AN APQ 181 AESA upgrade currently in development for the B2 Spirit Bomber Integrated Sensor Suite ISS for the RQ4 Global Hawk UAV ASQ 228 ATFLIR Advanced Targeting Forward Looking Infrared POD TPQ-36, TPQ-37 Firefinder and MPQ-64 Sentinel Mobile Battlefield Radars F-16 RACR, designed for the F-16 using AESA technology SLQ-32 Shipboard EW System Large fixed-site radars such as PAVE PAWS, BMEWS, and the Missile Defense Agency X-Band Radar XBR. topic satellite sensors Raytheon often in conjunction with Boeing Lockheed Martin or Northrop Grumman is also heavily involved in the satellite sensor business Much of its space and airborne systems division in El Segundo CA is devoted to this a business it inherited from Hughes Examples of programs include Space Tracking and Surveillance System STSS, being developed for the Ballistic Missile Defense. Raytheon is building the sensor payload. Additionally, the El Segundo site is the company center of excellence for the development and production of laser products. Raytheon Company's Navy Multiband Terminal NMT is the first advanced, next-generation satellite communications system to successfully log on to and communicate with the U.S. government's Milstar SATCOM system using low- and medium data rate waveforms. The system provides naval commanders and sailors with greater data capacity, as well as improved protection against enemy intercept and jamming. Visible Infrared Imaging Radiometer Suite VIIRS, was developed by Raytheon Space and Airborne Sensors and is currently in operation on the Suomi NPP satellite. Future deliveries of VIIRS will fly on board JPSS to continue the operational space-based climate and weather sensing legacy of the MODIS sensors. Communications. Raytheon's Universal Control System is an unmanned aerial system cockpit 
that improves operator awareness and efficiency, while providing the ability to control multiple unmanned aircraft, and reduce potential accidents. The company also makes several software radio and digital communication systems for military applications such as Cooperative Engagement Capability CEC, is participating in Navy Marine Corps Intranet NMCI, Echelon and the Joint Tactical Terminal JTT programs. Digital Multimedia Watchdog, a tool used by the FBI to record phone calls and Internet communications. Topic: Radioactive Materials Detection System. As part of the company's growing homeland security business and strategic focus, Raytheon has teamed with other contractors to develop an advanced spectroscopic portal (ASP) to allow border officials to view and identify radioactive materials in vehicles and shipping containers more effectively. Topic: Semiconductors. Raytheon also manufactures semiconductors for the electronics industry in sites in the US and UK. In the late 20th century, it produced a wide range of integrated circuits and other components, but as of 2003, its US semiconductor business specializes in gallium arsenide, gallium 3 arsenide components for radio communications as well as infrared detectors. It is also making efforts to develop gallium nitride (GAN) components for next generation radars and radios. The UK arm specialised in CMOS on silicon carbide SIC development and foundry work but is no longer taking on new orders, having been on the premises for 57 years. <laughs> <laughs> Missile defence systems In the framework of ground-based midcourse defense, Raytheon is developing a ground-based interceptor GBI that includes a booster missile and a kinetic exoatmospheric kill vehicle EKV, along with several key radar components, such as the C-based X-band radar SBX and the upgraded early warning radar UEWR. Missiles. <laughs> <laughs> Raytheon is a developer of missiles and related missile defense systems. These include AGM-65 Maverick AGM-88 Harm AGM-129 Advanced Cruise Missile AGM-154 Joint Standoff Weapon AIM-7 Sparrow AIM-9 Sidewinder AIM-120 AMRAAM BGM-71 TOW BGM-109 Tomahawk FGM-148 Javelin FIM-92 Stinger GBU-28 Paveway 3 MIM-23 Hawk MIM-104 Patriot RIM-7 Sea Sparrow RIM-161 Standard Missile 3 RIM-162 ESSM Pyros High-tech simulators In a jointly managed project with Hughes Aircraft Co., Raytheon developed the Air Warfare Simulation AWSIM-2, currently used by the USAF for battle staff training at simulation centers worldwide. Raytheon also produces and runs the Abacus Advanced Battle Space Computer Simulation or Higher Formation Trainer HFT for training HQs from small specialist units up to core level. Topic training services and learning outsourcing Raytheon Professional Services RPS is a global leader in training services and learning outsourcing for over 75 years. Clients are offered training tailored to their needs. The scope of each contract can vary from short-term training initiatives and projects to multi-year outsourcing engagements for some or all of a client's training function. 
Services include, 1 – Performance consulting and learning strategy development, 2 – Training design, development and delivery, 3 – Learning technologies and 4 – Training administration Raytheon Six Sigma Raytheon Six Sigma is the company's disciplined, knowledge-based approach designed to increase productivity, grow the business, enhance customer satisfaction and build a customer culture that embraces all of these goals. Daniel Burnham brought Six Sigma to Raytheon from Allied Signal in 1998. This internal service provides six steps that guide projects to completion, the six steps being, visualize, commit, prioritize, characterize, improve, and achieve. Raytheon mentions in its annual reports the benefits it has enjoyed through Six Sigma. It has gained USD $3.8 billion in financial benefit and has set a common language and culture across the company. Environmental record Two lawsuits were filed against a Raytheon company plant in St. Petersburg, Florida, due to concern with health risks, property values, and contamination in April 2008. Raytheon was given until the end of the month to independently test whether or not the groundwater that originated from its area was contaminated. According to the Florida Department of Environmental Protection (DEP), the groundwater contained carcinogenic contaminants including trichloroethylene, 1,4-dioxane, and vinyl chloride. The DEP also reported that the clouds contained other toxins such as lead and toluene. In 1995, Raytheon acquired Dallas-based E-Systems, including a site in St. Petersburg, Florida. In November 1991, prior to Raytheon's acquisition, contamination had been discovered at the E-Systems site. Soil and groundwater had been contaminated with the volatile organic compounds trichloroethylene and 1,4-dioxane. In 2005, groundwater monitoring indicated polluted groundwater was moving into areas outside the site. According to DEP documentation, Raytheon has tested wells on its site since 1996 but had not delivered a final report, therefore, it was given a deadline on May 31, 2008 to investigate its groundwater. Contamination in the area has not affected anyone's drinking water supply or health, yet due to negative local media coverage lawsuits are being filed with claims against Raytheon citing decreases in property values. In another case, Raytheon was ordered by the Environmental Protection Agency (EPA) to treat groundwater at the Tucson plant acquired during the merger with Hughes in Arizona since Raytheon used and disposed metals, chlorinated solvents, and other substances at the plant since 1951. The EPA further required the installation and operation of an oxidation process system to treat the solvents and make the water safe to drink. On 9 August 2006, the Stream Contact Center in Derry, Northern Ireland, which had a contract with Raytheon at the time, was attacked by protesters. They destroyed the computers, documents, and mainframe of the office, and proceeded to occupy it for eight hours prior to their arrest. The activists were charged with criminal damage and affray. The trial of six of the accused began May 19, 2008, in the Lagonside Courts in Belfast. Colin Bryce, Gary Donnelly, Kieran Gallagher, Michael Gallagher, Sean Heaton, Jimmy Kelly, Paddy McDade and Eamon O'Donnell were acquitted of all charges on of June, with Eamon McCann found guilty of the theft of two computer disks. 7. Topic: Workplace diversity. In 2005, Raytheon adopted equal employment opportunity policies regarding transgender and transsexual employees. On October 26, 2006, Raytheon was recognized by U.S. Secretary of Labor Elaine Chao as a recipient of the 2006 New Freedom Initiative (NFI) Award for the company's commitment to recruit, train, hire, and promote individuals with disabilities. Topic: <laughs> Advocacy. 
Raytheon is a leading member of the U.S. Global Leadership Coalition, a Washington, D.C.-based coalition of over 400 major companies and NGOs that advocates for a larger international affairs budget, which funds American diplomatic, humanitarian, and development efforts abroad. See also CK Route The Hall at Patriot Place Raytheon 9 Tactical Control System Top 100 U.S. Federal Contractors $16.1 billion in FY2009